If you think of Spain, you often think of paella, sangria, cerveza, bullfighting, and conquistadors. But that's because pop culture and history has taught us that, at least in the Anglosphere. One of the main reasons that is, is because this author behind us, Ernest Hemingway, the famous author born in Chicago, USA, he used to frequent this city of Pamplona, famous for the running of the bulls. He came here at the ripe age of 24 for the first time, and he discovered that, wow, he really loved this country, he loved the bullfighting, he loved the running of the bulls, and of course, he loved the party. Needless to say, the running of the bulls isn't the safest thing you could do. And over the years, of course, many people have died. Hundreds to thousands have been injured, rushed to the hospital. And you'd think that people are getting hurt or killed by impalements from the bull's horns, which is true. However, people have also died right here because massive crowds form as they enter the bullfighting ring neck to neck with the bulls and people have died from asphyxiation. They've literally suffocated to death. Yeah, would you want to come do this on your holiday in Pamplona? The handkerchief of Hemingway, Cuckoo Shumut. That's the Basque language if you're wondering because we're actually in the greater Basque region, although we're in the autonomous community of Navarra. But I want you guys to imagine that between the dates of July 6th to 14th, this city is absolutely a madhouse, complete chaos, a party 24 seven. And the only colors you can see are white and red. You would be seeing people looking over the balcony, screaming, partying, dancing, drinking. Perhaps a couple people will be getting impaled by the bulls. It seems like a fun place to me. Check it out, we have the Spanish flag. I think that's the Navarra flag, the European Union. And right there we have the famous Basque flag. Now I was told by some locals yesterday that if you want to get yourself in trouble, walk with the Spanish flag down one of these streets and you might get gang beaten by the independent supporters of Basque country and that's because there is a large number of people all throughout the Basque region who strongly support independence and who have always supported independence. In some extreme cases, those Basque separatists belong to a criminal and terrorist organization called ETA here in the Basque region. In fact, they spent years terrorizing the country of Spain. In 1973, they assassinated the prime minister, the successor of Franco, Luis Carrero Blanco, by detonating a car bomb as he left a mass in Madrid. But enough with the Spanish stereotypes of bullfighting, bull running, fiestas, and siestas. The real purpose of today's video is to bring you guys on a journey to a lesser known place in Spain, a mountainous region, a place that served as a refuge for people fleeing World War II or the Spanish Civil War. As of right now, it's gonna stay a mystery, but find out on this journey as we head north. Alright you guys, welcome to the Atlantic Ocean in the Bay of Biscay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Where we're going, we're landlocked. There is no ocean, there is no sea. So that's one of the reasons that this area is less visited because Spain is known for its beaches, its coastline, coastal cities, escapes and getaways, islands, and here we're completely landlocked. But we do have this beautiful reservoir beneath us. I want to show you guys what 51 euros can get you for a hotel in this little mountain village. Hotel Pradas. All right. Three star hotel. I'll take it. Let's check it out. Very nice restaurant. This must be a painting of the village when the original pilgrims were passing through here. Ooh. Wow. I feel like I'm in a log cabin in Wisconsin. I'll take it. A nice TV, some pictures of the village. What do we have here? Wow. All right, all right. This is the view of the village of I already forgot the name, Brotos. Now these Aragonese villages, a lot of them have been abandoned, went to the city because industry has been lost, mining has been depleted, there's, there's not a lot going on in these villages now outside of tourism. Holy shit, it's so hot here actually. I thought that since we'd be, you know, a few thousand meters up, that it would be uh, a lot cooler. Whoa! Look at this spring-fed glacial water. 
It's very blue and almost turquoise. Jesus, this is like a paradise. I did not expect this at all. When I said, hey, I'm gonna come to Northern Spain, build bow rent the car. There's some people uh, swimming in the river down there. Maybe we'll go take a dip. I would like to just take the car and try to traverse these mountains here. And eventually you would get to France. But uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna chillax, grab some grub. I wonder if there's like trout or some river fish on the menu here. Let's go see what they have to eat in the village. A dónde vais? A Francia? Suiza. Oh, joder. Do you speak English? I speak English. You're going to Switzerland, Suiza. Ah, uh, you're you're from you're going to Italy. No, start in South America. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Amor, empezaron en Sudamérica en bici. You're gonna go traverse the Pyrenees while well, you already have started, and then the Alps. Yeah, exactly. Holy shit. And I thought like what I'm doing is cool. Nah, not even close. This is amazing, you guys. <laughs> so you guys have been journeying for how long? Five months for me. Five months. You guys, these Europeans are just different. They're just, uh, they're true adventurers. Us Americans are boring as hell. What are we doing? Well, I feel like such a loser. I'm going to eat some fish. And these guys have literally biked across continents. Jesus. All right, let's see if the, the beer tastes better in the mountain village. Adventure Elliot approves. <laughs> All right, check out the pork tenderloin up here in the mountains. And Carrie's got the big juicy hamburger. Oh my God, with the bacon. Wow, everything's better in the mountains, the Pyrenees Mountains. Look at these grilled potatoes. Some uh, parsley sauce, some peppers. Ooh. <laughs> Say, Carrie approves. Carrie approves. <laughs> <laughs> Just got up from a nice nap and decided to take a little hike here. Can you guys hear that? I see fresh mineral water, perhaps from glaciers. Let's take a look. Here in the Pyrenees, you guys, there's actually Lots of waterfalls that we've seen based on our research because there's many, well, there's a lot of rain from the northwest and the water has to go somewhere. What comes up must come down. Looks a bit treacherous. If I fall, I might not die. I'd be fine. Yeah, this is fun. Woohoo! Leave a comment, would you do this? It's not bad during you guys, it's pretty easy. All right, we made it. Let's go check it out up close. Carrie's up there already. Hasta luego. Warning, we might get wet. Fortunately, I've got the good old GoPro, the trusty GoPro. Hasta luego, yo. I have to say, this is my third GoPro and all three of them have gotten damaged. One of them, broke in the Canary Islands with the salt water. Another one broke with the humidity of Galicia. And this one, when I was filming in Malaga, some young kid hit it out of my hand and cracked the screen, but it's still working. I just can't uh, submerge it in water. But the mist will do no problem. It's gonna get misty. All right, <clears throat> these guys are from Madrid. Bien? Bien? <laughs> She's all wet. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me. Whoa, this will demonstrate how wet it might get. Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Every single view, every single comment, every single like. I live for moments like this, and I'm lucky enough to be able to share them with you guys. All right, guys, well, we're not exactly overheated anymore. I am curious to see, is the water cold like Coors Light? Glacial cold. This is kind of where you swim. 
There was this place in northern Wisconsin as a kid where I used to go called Slugundi. For anyone from Wisconsin, from Ladysmith, Eau Claire area, watch me, perhaps you know about Slugundi. But this is a lot cleaner, I'll be honest. Oh, wow. It's cold? Wait for me. Am I recording? Ah, yes I am. Let me put this here and take my shoes off. I'm still wearing the friendship bracelet we bought in Bologna. Oh! Oh! This is like superior cold, you guys. Let's try this double Malta from Barcelona. It is very strong. It'll uh, get you a little buzz, at least one beer. 7%, 7.2%. All right, it's not so bad. It's not so bad, but I'd have to be extremely hot to want to go all the way in. Cheers. Cheers. Salud, mi amor. Woo. Oh, bring me back to childhood. Hasta luego. Ángeles. Ángeles. Buenas noches. Cuídense. Nos vemos. Well, you guys, we just had a wonderful conversation. Little anecdote, you know, these traveling experiences. These two ladies here, uh, one was 82, and she got done telling us that she was with her husband for 40 years before he passed away. And then the other one was 77 and she was with her husband for 50 years before he passed away. So they're on a friendship getaway. Bye bye, hasta luego. <laughs> they're so sweet. And um, we just had a great conversation. And one of them lived with her husband traveling, not traveling, living in Mexico and Puerto Rico because he worked in telecommunications <laughs> and the Virgin Islands. And she, she had a kid with her husband in each country <laughs> wow <laughs> you know so you, you they were just so sweet with us all right you guys this is how the people live here in this village got your nice little garden here mountains in the background the german shepherd the town church surrounded by mountains so yeah you guys that was our unexpected adventure today we really didn't even plan it. We just started in Pamplona. I said, hey, Carrie, I want to know the Pyrenees Mountains. I want to see them for the first time in my life. So we just looked at villages. We found a relatively cheap option, 50 euros. Well, really cheap compared to the United States with much better scenery. And so, yeah, tomorrow we have one more surprise for you guys. The hint I'm going to give you is that the city is known for its gastronomy and perhaps it's one of the most beautiful cities in all of Spain and Europe for that matter. Whew. So what an adventure. So if you guys want to support the channel, you can leave a like, a comment, subscribe, give feedback. But if you want to go even further, you guys can check out my Patreon page and my PayPal. It really helps me create these videos, afford these road trips. They aren't cheap. They aren't super expensive either, but yeah, you, you get it. Traveling in 2023 is a luxury, and I'm very happy that I can do it. It's a privilege, so all right, you guys. We'll see you from another place tomorrow in Spain from the Pyrenees Mountains. Adventure Elliot saying goodbye. Buenas noches.